competitive pressures in the food industry today demand strict attention to quality and consistency, while lowering costs and boosting productivity at the same time. From the beginning, meeting the needs of the food industry was a main focus for Hunter Lab. Over 60 years later, it is clear that Hunter Lab knows the food business. Over 50% of Hunter Lab's instruments are found in food applications. In addition, today all the top 20 food companies in the United States use Hunter Lab instrumentation. The LAB scale is the most commonly used color scale. Essentially, the LAB scale was created to reproduce how our eyes and brain communicate color. The L axis is a measure of the lightness of your product. On the L axis, L equals zero is total absorption, whereas pure white would equal 100. Next is the A axis, which describes the green to redness factor. A positive A would have more red in it, while a negative A value would have more green. Last is the B axis, which represents the blue to yellowness of the product. A positive B value would be a more yellow product, while a negative B value would be a more blue product. There are three main categories of instruments. First are the portable systems, which allow you to measure color wherever you need. Run by battery power, they give you the ability to measure samples directly on the production floor, in storage areas, shipping departments, or anywhere else you can think of. There are also numerous types of benchtop systems, varying depending on your exact function. The beauty of the benchtop systems is that they maintain the perfect balance between sample measurement precision and versatility. Lastly are our online systems, which are able to provide continuous real-time measurements of your products. They are often found on the processing lines for 24-7 inspection, which allows you to respond to product color changes when they happen. Northeastern U.S. sales representative Ken Wendt will now demonstrate how to use the ColorFlex EZ, a low-cost benchtop system. Before taking color measurements with the ColorFlex, we must first standardize the instrument. We do this with two tiles, both a black and a white tile. The sequence is simple. We push the key, label standardize, and it prompts us to take a reading with the black glass. We now are prompted to measure the white tile. And the display states the sensor has been successfully standardized. Okay, once you've completed the standardization, you're free to read samples. So here I'm going to read uh, two products, uh, both Alfredo sauces, and I simply hit the read key and it asks me which product I'd like to measure. I choose the Alfredo sauce and it asks me a place to sample at the port. Place a sample and I simply take a reading. And the instrument provides the color and brightness values. In this example, we're showing a light product with an L value of 76. A A value of 2, which shows a slight redness, and a B value of 16, which is a yellow product. Another useful feature is the barcode reader, where we can very simply use the barcode information to include that with our color data. Now measuring our second sample, we simply place it and take a reading. And the data is presented. On the second screen, we've taken a measurement of the classical sauce and it displays the B value as being 18 units and out of tolerance. This is about two units larger than the uh, first sample, which was our Bertoli sauce. Some people in production settings use the instrument just as a standalone system. However, we can also produce additional reports using our Easy Match QC software. Here, I'll go back and measure our first product, our Bertoli sauce, and call that our standard. It takes about three seconds to take a measurement, and I'll type in product identifier. Now I'll compare that against the classical sauce. And this will be our sample. Name Classic, Classico. And here on our color plot, the Bertoli sauce is defined as our standard, whether it's uh, bullseye. Any value read outside the bullseye, in this case the classical sauce, uh, identifies as being uh, visually different. 
and here it's uh, showing that it's much more yellow. So this is one example of Hunter Labs uh, solutions. This is a $10,000 Easy Match QC system, which functions with barcode readers, uh, various printers, our Easy Match QC software, which can also export information to network servers, along with uh, sending data to Excel files. Hunter Lab systems measure reflected and transmitted color of food products. They give numerical values that correlate to what you see and are ideal for measuring anything from raw materials to the final product. Contact your local Hunter Lab sales representative for more details or demonstrations.